Hello and welcome to Excel Essentials. In this session, we'll be covering the today and now formula. Now, the today formula is a formula that just returns today's date. Now, it dynamically updates, so even if I put in the formula on the spreadsheet on the 1st of January, if I was to then open the spreadsheet on, say, the 8th of January, it would show the date for the 8th of January. So it will always display the current date on the worksheet, regardless of whenever you open it. Now, in here, I'm just going to show you how to use it. So if we do equals today and open and close the brackets, as we do in the syntax here there are no parameters to put in you just put today with the opening and closing brackets so once we do that we see today's date of the 31st of march now you can do some fun things with the today formula as well so say you needed to calculate five days after today for example you would do equals today plus five so you just use this syntax here, and then once you hit enter, you can see that five days after today, it will be the 5th of April. If you just want to return the current day of the month, so this being any digit between 1 and 31 for this month, or 34 months with 30 days in, February will obviously have 28 or 29, depending on whether it's a leap year, you can return the current day so you can do equals day and then open up the brackets then here is where you'll put today and then here is where you'll close the brackets and see now we have 31 returned and that's because it's the 31st of March now if we wanted to return the month instead of the day we can do that too and that will return the numeric month so if it was 4 for example it would be April if it was 10 it would be October so we're just going to do month then we're going to put in today and we're just going to close that all off and hit enter and there you go we get the three from it now moving on to the now function in Excel this returns not just the current date but it also returns the time as well. Now, this automatically updates whenever you modify or open a workbook or a worksheet. So it will always be showing the latest date and time since you've made a modification. So this might be handy if you need to return the last time you've refreshed something, for example. And rather than getting Power Query or to return this value you can just have it done with the now formula for example now just like the today function it has no parameters in it so if we write it here we'll do equals now and as you can see it's returned the time and date of 243 now i'm just going to go and put some random characters in a cell and hit enter and you see it's updated to the latest current time now i'm just going to delete that and you see it's updated itself once again you can also play around with the now function if you need to in the same way as the today function such as being able to calculate time in the past and in the future so if we need to calculate a time from 12 hours ago we would do equals now and then here is where we'll do something slightly similar to how we worked with the today function so if we want to calculate 12 hours ago it would be 0 0.5 now the reason why it would be 0 0.5 is because that's half of a full day which is 24 hours so if I hit enter you can now see it returns a time of 2.44 in the morning which is 12 hours ago from now if we want to return a day which is seven days in the future we can do equals now and just like when we added five days to the today we will just put seven for the number of days and we see the return of the 7th of April if we want to calculate six hours ago we would use a quarter in this instance and we would subtract that from the now so I'm just going to put 
minus 0 0.25 and as you see we get 8 o'clock this morning now if we want to return 18 hours in the future this is where we would then use 0 0.75 for the 18 out of 24 hours in a day and we would do equals now plus 0 0.75 and as you see, it returns 8.45 tomorrow morning. And as you see, all the rest of the, the calculations we had made above, they updated too because they are using and leveraging the now function. So these will always automatically update whenever any changes are made. Now, I also wanted to show you two shortcuts as well. Now the first one is going to return the date and the second one is going to return the time. So if you hit control and the colon key it will return today's date for you in a static non-automatically updated format. So if I put this in here now you see I've got the 31st of March and as you see there's no formula it is just the value that it is. So it won't update like the today and the now formulas will do. So if I was to open this workbook in four days time, this would still say the 31st of March. Now the second one is returning the time. And this is where you do control shift colon. And as you see, it returns 1446, which is correct because that is the current time. You can combine both of those shortcuts to give you the date and time similar to the now function. And you would do control colon space control shift colon and you'll get that returned in the cell with you. The only difference between the shortcut and the formula is that the shortcut for returning the time, it will return the time to the base minute so what I mean by that is even as you can see here in the formula bar it says 247 with zero seconds and in the now we can see it says 247 with 12 seconds so it will never ever record the number of seconds past the minute so it will always use that base minute even if it was 144759 it would still return 1447.00 in the shortcut. Stay tuned for more XL Essentials.